Hey guys, let's talk through this Boss BCB 1000 Quad Cortex hybrid setup. Bunch of a stereo effects loops in the Quad Cortex with an expression pedal. Let's go. Alright, starting off, it's it looks complicated, but it's actually really, really simple. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're going into the quad um, in a couple different configurations. If you can see right here, we are looking at the back panel, which has been customized, drilled out to incorporate guitar and mic inputs, outputs, XLRs, everything. Just because on here everything is so tight, we don't have the space, so we had to modify the board. Now we have the space to be able to utilize USB-C out, um, XLR in and out for microphone, so he can use the microphone through here, do input one, which have, we have it labeled, as well as stereo acoustic or electric outputs via XLR, a demo loop, which is quarter inch center return, the demo pedal, and a courtesy power, as well as your guitar inputs. Um, we'll talk through all the details, but starting off, we'll talk through electric section. So starting off with the electric section, we have the guitar in on the back side, which is going straight in, hitting input two, which we have it labeled here. So it's guitar's input two. Guitar is going from there. It's gonna hit his amps. Um, the first thing is gonna be this expression. So it's expression, but it's set up as a volume block. So as soon as we play something, we have expression over volume expression. Hits the amp. Now we're gonna go hit the effects loop. So we're doing a send on the effects loop. So send is gonna be send one. And the send one is gonna to go to the uh, Goodwood Audio Audition underneath. So underneath there's an audition box, which there's a little lever here on the side and he can easily just reach down with his finger and he can actually disengage or engage that box. What it's doing is when he wants to demo a pedal, he can bring it into the circuit or not. It's not going to be something he's going to do doing live. It's more of like a test thing when he's playing, which he can flip the board over or stick his finger down and just press the switch. Super simple. It even says in is bypass, out is active. So right now we're in bypass. After that, it's going up to the Halcyon. Halcyon Black, which is the their green overdrive. It's all blacked out, but it's their Halcyon Green. From there, it's going to go down. It's going to hit the Ultraviolet. And then the ultraviolet is going to hit the Marikai, and then it's going to hit the Cloudburst, and then the Deco. All these units are in stereo. This guy is the only one that's out. So then it's going stereo out, returning back into the board, and that's how we have this signal. Super simple. As you can see right there, I have um, this the quad set up in hybrid mode. So right now the quad doesn't have the capability of uh, like MIDI, CC, or PC blocks to do different like pedals. Um, they haven't implemented that feature, but we hope that that will be something soon. Um, I did set up the top row as stomp switches. So as you can see, it is toggling a block on and off. Those blocks do not replicate in order of where they are. They are purely there so that when the client steps on the switch, it will show an activate signal. But if you tap on the block, this analog delay mix is all the way down. So it's at zero. So there is no analog mix, but you can still hear a reverb. That's mainly just like a hidden, not hack, but just like a workaround right now. We think it'll be implemented eventually, which will be super cool. But from there, we can do the ultraviolet, the deco, so we have the tape saturation, as well as the Merakai, so we could, we could turn something on. Super simple. It's the workaround right now, but it works. We're gonna go with it and hopefully it'll be updated. Moving on to um, the vocal mic side. Vocal's going into input one and it's going out. 
the you'll see where it says out balanced out so it's actually going the out of four so i'll put four so that's how we have it set up so this is where he can actually plug in a microphone set all the settings have reverb or delay one man band go in and do the gig kind of thing that's really simple uh, midi is also just going from the quad cortex to um the strymon conduit conduit out it's dispersing to all quarter inch TRS, jacks of deco, the ultraviolet, and the call burst, and the five pin is hitting the Marikai. Let's play through some of the sounds now that we have queued up. Super simple setup, really compact, a lot of great sounds. Let's talk about how to actually build a preset to send a PC kind of command to the different quad cortex settings. All right, so sending a PC message to any of these devices, we'll just go with the clubber. So this is the clubber sound right now. All right, you can hear that ensemble feature but that may not be the sound that we want okay so we might want something else so all we're gonna have to do is hit the top three switches go to midi preset out there's a couple different ways you could do this especially if we're switching between you know different sounds or whatever like here on the home screen if we switch between these right now they're they're just the same thing they're not doing anything particular but what we can do is we'll say we'll do this guy. So we'll go up here, preset MIDI out. We'll hit F. Now we're out, right now there is zero CC messages. So we'll do a PC. Right now you can only do one. So if you're gonna change, you can't multiply change like all four channels at the same time. But you can at least do one. So we'll change the reverb. So we'll do MIDI channel one. We'll do, I don't know. We'll just say program three. So then now when we go to F, it's MIDI 3, but then we go to E, maybe we want it to be 1. So it'll switch between 3 and 1. So now, when we activate it, you can hear the change. So this is like a, a sounds like a short reverb. Go to the next one. That sounds super short. All 
Alright, so. So now we have a short reverb. And then you go to the next preset, back and forth. And there's trails set on, so it'll spill over. That's how you send a PC message to a MIDI device. So that's it. That is this Boss BCB1000 setup. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.